and I can have all these things and I can uh, uh, then I would be happy well you're, you're looking at the wrong thing in the second chapter of Hebrews tonight and I, <clears throat> I've got had a little throat problem y'all will have to sort of bear with me tonight but I've been having it I, I, I know it ain't because I'm older but I'm going to begin reading here at verse 1 of this second chapter. Just stand with it for the reading of the word. I want you to listen close to this. What it, what it says and how it says it. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by the angels was steadfast, never transgression, ever disobedient, received a just recompense of reward, how shall we, now listen to this, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Now this is the second chapter of Hebrews. Now let's, let's notice this. Let me read that again. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by him that, that heareth him? Now what, what are we going to do? You see, there's a question asked in the Bible. You may be seated. And it's asked about baptism. It said, you know, the people are baptized for for the dead. Now a lot of the a lot of the older people in Jewish under the Jewish law and other things, they, they were baptized for the for the dead that were already dead. But he asked a question one time. He said, if there uh, is no resurrection then why are you baptized for the dead if there's not going to be any resurrection? Whenever you and I, we talk about, we talk about the Lord. But without we live holy and acceptable unto the Lord. Now you can, do, you can say what you want to. But except we live holy and acceptable unto the Lord and according to God's plan and God's word, we're just not going to not going. Right. You're, we're wasting our time hallelujah if we don't believe God's plan and we don't believe God's word we are wasting our time you know there's a lot of people that knows nothing about the word of God they've been in church all their life but they they don't know nothing about the word of God They're, you know when you go to dealing with the word of God People will absolutely will get mad at you about it. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> Hallelujah. They'll, they'll say, well, I, I don't know about this. <coughs> now, 
Hallelujah. Whenever you ask me the question, I'm going to answer you. I'm going to answer you by the Word of God. And then what you do with the Word of God, that's up to you. But when it leaves, as long as it's in my mouth and in my heart, it's mine. But when it leaves my mouth and my heart and it goes out there to your ears, it's yours. Praise the Lord. And I'm not responsible. If I preach you the truth and I preach you the Word of God, I'm responsible for the Word of God that God gives me to preach to you. I'm not responsible for what you do with it. You see, this is why so many people have had uh, so many times in their life. You know, I used to believe that if everybody didn't dress like I thought they ought to, and they didn't have everything just like they uh, like I thought they ought to, well, uh, they couldn't be a Christian if they didn't do like like I thought they ought to, and they didn't live how to do it. They didn't dress like I thought they ought to. I believe in dressing modesty. That means decent. Praise the Lord. But listen to me. When you and I, when I, when it leaves my mouth, <coughs> and the Word of God, what do you do with it, is up to you. I can't make you do it. Hallelujah. I can't make you do it right. I can't make you live right. I wish I could. I had made a lot of people that I, I, I know I'd go home and, hallelujah, I'd start out with some of my children, my own children. I'd start out with them and I'd line them up and say, now this is the way you're going to live. But it don't work that way. This is what you're going to believe. This is what I believe. This is what you're going to believe. This is the way that your direction is going to go if I... But you see, hallelujah, the Bible said raise a child in the way you'd have him to go and when he becomes old, he'll not depart from him. I believe that. Hallelujah. I believe that with all my heart. But I want you to know that if you don't listen to God, you never will be anything for God. Amen. If you neglect, if God said, you know, I, I see people saying, well, I, I don't think, I don't think that praying is, is uh, uh, it, of any value. You know, I mean, hey, sit down and rest and rest yourself and forget about praying. Pray every day. Hallelujah. Several times a day. Hey, you know what you're doing? You're neglecting. That's right. The Bible said pray always. That's right. Pray, pray always. That's Hallelujah. In all things give thanks. Amen. Amen. And if you don't pray, you're neglecting that. That's right. Come on. Hallelujah. You see. When you and I, there's one thing that I, that happens at the Walls House, always had. There's going to be prayer going on, not once, but several times a day. Mm -hmm. And I don't care who's there. If somebody called me on the phone and said, pray for me, I don't care who's there. If the president was there, he could join in and help me pray. Praise the Lord, but I'm going to pray. It doesn't make any difference. I'm going to pray. You know what I do? Hallelujah. Whenever somebody calls and and they say, I need prayer. We, someone called the other night and told uh, Willa's sister said, uh, she's on a prayer group and they called when something happened to this man and they said this boy was about to die and they wanted prayer. Hallelujah. And, and she said, I said, was that somebody wanting prayer? And she said, yes, it is. And I, I, I told her, I said, there's four of us, women and I, and her sister and her husband and we joined hand and we prayed and the power of God just came down and you could just feel that good spirit of God down in your midst. See, where there is two or three gathered together in my name, Amen. you can gather together in anybody else's name you want to, but you better gather together in his name. Amen. Praise the Lord. And when you gather together in his name, Hallelujah, he said, I will hear you. Yeah, you know, I could go out there and say, let's all pray in Willard's name. <laughs> Hallelujah, Willard don't have much power in his name. Then I say, let's all pray for Willard. 
Yeah, that, that would be that would be the best thing you could do. You could pray for water. You could pray in my name, but tell Jesus on me. You see, there are so many times that we become selfish in what we want God to do, and we want Him to do it our way. But but of all, the Lord didn't do it. Didn't answer the prayer like I wanted Him to. Honey, you better be glad he answered that prayer. Amen. Whether he done it your way or some other way, praise the Lord. I, I'm like the old woman that was praying, Lord, I, I need groceries. I need groceries. And old drunks <coughs> living across the street went over there. She had a window <coughs> raised and he just threw a whole bunch of groceries. Went down the store and got them and threw them into the, her window. She said, thank you, Lord. <laughs> For the groceries, if you did have to send them to the devil. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, it doesn't make any difference. God wants to answer our prayer. But he wants us to recognize who done what he did. Amen. Yep. Did you know that, that whenever you begin to think <laughs> about neglecting, if I, don't, if I don't pay the... The... Uh, car payment, I don't drive a car. <clears throat> I sent my car payment in last month and I got a call saying you like $100 sending your car payment in. So I didn't do it. I, I got it right here in my checkbook where I wrote the check. Hallelujah. But I got my bank statement that day and I looked and I cheated him a hundred dollars for my payment. <laughs> you know what I done? <laughs> Hallelujah! I called him up and apologized to him and said, "Your hundred dollars on this way." Now I, I wouldn't argue with him about it. That hundred dollars meant as much to me as it did to them, probably more to me. But you see, sometimes we think we're right. Hey, the Lord, I, I'm gonna tell you, Lord, how I want it done. <laughs> Well, that ain't the way God answers prayer. God answers prayer because we ask Him, we believe Him, we accept Him, we, and we know that He's God, and we believe He's God, and we believe He'll answer because He is God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, then we get an answer. How shall we escape? What are you going to do if you neglect everything that God tells you to do? You know what? Money is one of the biggest things that people neglect in the church. Mm -hmm. They may pray, but they take what belongs to the Lord and do what they want to. i got to pay for my television. Leave it in the store. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my, my, my. Hallelujah. You see, if you don't give to God, He won't give to you. Right. You neglect giving to him, next thing you know, you'll be saying, I wonder what happened to what I had. Brother Arlie Giffen told me one time, years ago, said, Brother Walls, I've paid my tithes, and God bless me. And he said, one day I told the Lord I make too much money to pay my tithes. <laughs> I went to work in the mines and I, I quit paying them. He said, I'm the only one paying them at the church anyway. And I quit paying them. And he said, I went to pay my store account and didn't have enough money to pay my store account. And he said, I said, Lord, what in the world is wrong? I work every day and I don't have enough money to pay my grocery bill. And God said, you, you took what belonged to me and used it for your own self. Hallelujah. Oh, but now nothing. Hey, God will give his part. Don't worry about it. That's right. yeah. But there's healing. The Bible said there's healing is the children's bread. But we got insurance and we go to the hospital. At the same time, we didn't have insurance and we didn't have nothing. That we didn't have no way. Hallelujah. To go to that hospital, we didn't have nothing to pay with them. With them. And I want you to know it didn't cost but a dollar how to do it to go to the doctor, but you couldn't go to the doctor because you didn't have a dollar. You know what you had to do? You had to pray. 
See, a dollar don't mean anything to us. I probably got a dollar's worth of change in my pocket. I may not have. I, I, I may not have to. I got down here. But anyway, praise the Lord. I, I, well, no, I ain't got a dollar. But I got, yeah, I've got a dollar right there. About a dollar. But now, you say, oh, but now, that don't, that don't mean anything. I, if a kid come up and said, for the ones, I don't want that dollar. I'd hand it to him. Or if you come up and said, I want that dollar, I'd hand it to him. But let, let me tell you, it don't mean much. But I've seen a day when that dollar, right, or what I've got in my hand, there's about a dollar now, would have bought a whole lot of groceries. Yep. I mean, I'm talking about a whole lot of groceries. And it meant something. <clears throat> A hundred dollars worth of, oh my God, if you had a hundred dollars, you're well off, you can buy a farm for a hundred and fifty dollars. My daddy bought a farm, seven, seven acres of it, and he'd give a hundred and fifty dollars for it. Bought it on the credit. That's why I was born that. Hallelujah. I come into the world, it cost, it cost, it was me and my sister was twins. And it cost two dollars to get us into the world. Hallelujah. And we, whenever they come into the world, they had to feed the doctor another meal because it was storming. Hallelujah. And he couldn't get out his barn on March the 21st. And he couldn't get on the get in his boat to go back across the river. Hallelujah. So they had to feed him another meal. Uh, so he got to, uh, fed all the time he was over there. Hallelujah. And got $2 for delivering me. Me, look at me. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the last, last kid we had born, and that was 40, three, two or three years ago. My God, I had to go almost go and make a loan to pay for him. Hallelujah. You say, oh, hallelujah, Seven, over 17 years, over 17 years, I had, I paid, when David come into the world, I paid $27 to the hospital and $27.50 to the Dr. Janina that delivered him. Hallelujah. It cost me $50, $50.50 to pay uh, for the hospital and, and the doctor bill. Praise the Lord. Then when Dick had come along 17 days, uh, 17 days, 17 years later, hallelujah, uh, it cost my uh, whip earner uh, several hundred dollars. Praise the Lord. Now then, they was telling me about a, a, a child being born and said, uh, well, uh, we, 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 we got him in the world cheap. Said, only, said, well, just a little over $12,000 is all it cost us to get that baby in here. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'd have to send him back. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, you say, oh, but Brother Wall. Hallelujah. Oh, but now, wait just a minute. What if you don't pay him? That's what I'm getting to. What if what if you don't pay him? And you neglect to pay him. I, I forgot to pay, I forgot to pay him for that young man. Then you're gonna have another. See the, our first our first two was eighteen months apart. And uh uh, uh, I forgot to pay for the first one. No, I didn't get to forget, but it say I have. I forgot to pay for the first one. Then I go back to, and the second one, how to do he gonna, that doctor gonna look at me and pull him glasses down on his nose and he gonna look at me and say, I think you still owe me for the first one. <laughs> <laughs> then what are you gonna do? No doctor, now young and on this way. Neglecting. I'm talking about neglecting. If we neglect to pray, to seek God, to be filled with God's Spirit, the Bible said, be not drunken on wine, worried in excess, but be filled with my Spirit. Now, what if we neglect? But I, I, I aim to go to church, but uh, Brother Walt, but I, I just couldn't get there. I uh, was tired. <laughs> Shame on you. Hallelujah. I was tired too. But I wanted to get to the house of the Lord more than I wanted Amen. to lay up on the couch. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, you know what I've done? I could have I could have sit up on the couch and rag back her in that big chair I got. I